I, like five years ago, I would think, okay, you're always going to need a CRA because source data review. Well, I don't think you actually need a CRA for that anymore. I'm not saying they're going to go away. I think the CRA's role is going to be enhanced just like everyone else is in every industry. I think CRAs are going to be able to do more with less. I think we're going to have less CRA burnout. So there's a lot here that is already happening that we don't have to wait 10 years for. Now they are still doing, they being the monitors, the coordinators, the sites, the CROs, the sponsors, they're still doing the things the old fashioned way. But all it takes are a few innovative groups and it's going to come from the biotechs because the biotechs are the ones that don't have money to waste. They have very small cash runways and they're thinking about why would I Why would I pay the CRO when we have these tools that we can do and just hire some CRAs and then layer some tech on top of what the CRAs already do? And I think you're going to start seeing that very soon. So I'm not seeing it in the wild yet at my site. We still have traditional monitoring. Mark my words, this is June 10th, 2025. That day's coming. It might be June 10th, 2026. It wouldn't surprise me. If we have source data review being done by AI with monitors and PMs kind of overlooking the whole process, making sure it's going well. And then when it comes to patient recruitment, it's already happening. I predicted this years ago. We're going to get to a point where patients passively show up at sites. It's happening. My own company does that, Patient Ace. Like, subscribe, comment, share. AI is already here, guys and gals.